Homegrown Radio. Part of the secret of success is to eat what you like and let the food fight it inside. As someone who was born in September, I am a foodie and it is with great joy to sit with someone who, I- who uses her love and passion of food to pay bills. Now let's get to hear from the lady herself how the business is going and what partnerships she has made so far. Now you ready? Three, two, one, let's get it. Bah! Welcome to Homegrown Business with myself, Kabe Lokhanya, the gifted child, God's golden boy, the supernova, where I bring you the entrepreneurs who are here to talk about their journey into entrepreneurship. And today it's no different. Today I have the founder and owner of Crystal Eats, who is also an inspiring trillionaire. <laughs> <laughs> Representing the east of Johannesburg, Katlehong in Munaheng section, please help me welcome Kutrano Lesejo Siwe. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I know it's been a journey, right? Yeah. For you to come here and can you see how peaceful the place is? It, it has so much fresh air. Yeah, it's how a dream. How are you dream. finding it? It's a dream. It's a dream. One day I'd like to own my own farm, you know, just yeah. to have a space like this, it's so beautiful. Hey? And we'll be doing a lot of cooking there, then. Mm, you know. The booty. Bra. Yo, <laughs> my herbs, my fruits, my vegetables. Yeah. I do really love that, yeah. Good one. First time I met you, I think it was two years ago, ne? Mm-hmm. And yeah, I think it was two years ago. I was I was about to turn twenty three, and you came into the store that I work in, mm-hmm. and you were holding a platter in mm-hmm. your hand. Mm-hmm. So I was so interested in the platter that you were holding that I even uh, started asking you questions, and we exchanged numbers and followed each other on social media. Right now, like you know, it's been a journey, and True. your your business have grown too. But mm. I I know you only on the business side. I don't know Kutrano from Munaheng. Mm. Who is Kutrano, and how were you growing up with K One? More than anything, my business describes who I am. Yeah. Well, you see all that beauty and drama in my plating, mm-hmm. and when you look at me, it just talks about me. Yeah. So when you say you know the business side of Grano, you know Grano. Trust me. Really? Yes. My food tastes like nah. Wow. My slogan, Dirati Gan Troya, is Saja Monono. Yes! Kija Monono, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, so Kutwano Lise Josewe is Crystal Eats. Mm. Yeah. And I also, like, just recently found out that you love pink, so everything is pink. Boy, even my headboard is pink. Yeah, man. Come <laughs> everything on. Everything is pink, literally. Everything I love is it. Pink. Love it so much. So, mm. Kutwano, um, at the age of six, you lost your parents. Yes. How is life after? Oh, first of all, deepest condolences. Yeah, I'm very sorry to hear yeah. that. How was life after that? Um, it was a bit difficult, but my grandfather closed that void, mm. so it didn't really, really make much of a difference. Yeah. It just hurt when you see your cousins running to their mothers or their fathers and you can't really relate to that because you've yeah. you've lost your parents at such a young age sure. yeah so my grandfather and my grandmother and uncle really closed that void so yeah. it it didn't really affect me that much mm. that's why um i said in one of my bios that at the age of six i found love in food yeah. Because that's where we connected most with my grandfather in the kitchen. We'd experiment with whatever is in the fridge and we'd cook that. Yeah. Whether it looked like rubbish or tasted horrible, yeah. we'd enjoy it because we made it together. Your, your grandfather is also a cook? Yeah, my grandfather was a cook. I also lost him oh, a few sorry. years later. So yeah, it's okay. So this thing of cooking, it runs in the family? Yes, it does. It actually does run in the family. My gran is also a good cook. Yeah. Um, Yeah, so uh, we also have a few family relatives who have their own catering companies as well. Okay. So it's something that runs in the family, yes. Wow, that's incredible. Mm -hmm. So straight after Queen's High School, you studied Bachelor of Education Mm -hmm. in Senior Phase and FET. Yes. And you... You majored in hospitality management. Yes. How is that like? And do you still see yourself as a teacher 
or you just took a short left or right molin? Funny enough, I actually love teaching. Uh. So I was on the program for the assistant teachers mm. in the local schools. Okay. And it put me in a class of kids that are autistic or kids that suffer from Alsin, which is SID. Yeah. So we don't say slow, we just say SID. SID. Because slow, calling somebody a slow learner can be quite offensive. Yeah. Especially to the parents. Sure. So we had to educate ourselves about the learners and the things that they suffer from. Okay. Right. So they mostly have mentally issues and you just need to be patient with them. Yeah. So I actually taught them how to bake really? yes i actually taught them how to bake so i took that on and i said you know what i really enjoyed this and yeah. i'd like to do it on a regular basis, basis yeah. so i included classes within crystal eats okay so i'd have like classes baking classes for like 3500 where i teach people basic baking skills to crumb coats and decorate cakes and give them basic baking equipment to go home with yeah yeah so because when i started i didn't have a spatula i didn't even have a whisk i didn't have a mixer yeah. i had nothing. nothing i used to use things from my aunts and my relatives mm. and my first order i remember nearly cake at 850 i didn't even know how to bake it yeah. <laughs> i didn't even know how to bake it but I took that 850, I bought equipment yeah. with 850. Bear in mind, some things are like 500 right? Mm. So I had to go for the cheaper plastic things, China Mall, right? So I'd use that 850 just to make sure that that 850 cake looks like Instagram picture. Yeah. And it came out like that. That's incredible. Yeah. That's amazing. So you've been on a journey and mm -hmm. I think it's safe to say you've done a lot. Because mm. when I met you, you were working at the bank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then chigi chigi, aksam bona kutwa nuko Albertine. I'm like, where is this girl? Wait, 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 so you'd sell so, where? I'd sell for strateng. Okay. For the text ranking, for spetlele. If you're from East Rand, you'd sell for spetlele. That time you were wearing your uniform? That time, you had your uniform like a Mary Kong. You had your tight, 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 you had your tight. Because you're the taxi driver, number one. Yeah. And target market, you're the taxi driver. Because they're always on the road and they're always eating from your strateng. Mm. So I had to get my game on by looking the part. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd sell in the mornings, I'd get to work late <laughs> every day. And yeah, when my contract ended, they never renewed it. But it's okay. They're I got like, crystal eat. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> how was it like working there and knowing that you are someone who is passionate about food? Were you not depressed? Because I think it's something that happens to people that exactly know what they want and you're getting something that you and that, that you don't believe in, that is not in alignment with what you want and your dreams. So mm. how was it like working at that bank? Funny enough, I actually enjoyed it. Really? I enjoy sales. I enjoy working with people. I yeah. enjoy working with money. Mm. I did accounting. Sure. So I enjoy those type of scenes. So I feel like being in corporate tamed me to yeah. be who I am. Ta like it actually taught me how to run my business mm. i'm thankful for that journey because i wouldn't know how to handle my finances yeah. if i didn't work at the bank sure. i wouldn't know how to approach big corporate companies for their year end functions if it wasn't for the bank they teach you uh again corporate lingo yeah yeah so i'm glad i'm actually happy that i went through that journey yeah th there are things that come into our lives as much as we don't want to be there but mm -hmm. they are there for a reason and true. a good one true that see is now so it's, true. it's helping you on your mm. business mm. so on the first of february 2020 you gave birth to crystal so eats with yes. a pay of line <laughs> yes how yes. did it come about um so as I said, I was helping cater, catering companies uh, locally. Mm -hmm. So I decided, man, but what recipes are 
why don't I start my own thing? So, and a friend of mine said, show me even Valentine's Day, yes. I've seen how you make platters at family gatherings. I've seen how you make things. Yeah. Why don't you have a special of Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day platters and bouquets? Yeah. And I said, okay, let me just give it a try. And then I, I was sleeping. I'm a very spiritual person. Mm. And the name Crystal Eats came in my dream. Sure. And I heard a voice saying, Slogan itaba di radikan troya ki saja munon. Yeah. O teka tafule pon senya di radza hao. So when I usense ubanele wushali ba ucheta dijo, so unuketi. Yeah. So that's what tamed my business. So my business was given to me by God and my ancestors. Oh my God. Yeah. Because I don't go to school to decorate cakes. Yeah. I don't go to Kalako or hospitality management. They teach you basics for the scones they to us. They don't teach you the prawns, they don't teach you proper plating. Yeah. So they just teach you body um boma himan. Tonyana simple so kadi yet and control. Bohu chop a hand, who dice a Julian, Bao Ruta the basics, it's a hook and a kahara kitchen, who behold. Sure. Nothing hectic. Wow. So I had to teach myself how to do it. So how did you do it? Did you use YouTube maybe? I used YouTube. But I wasn't dependable on it. Yeah. So um, I like to say I'm super smart because I look at you something are. I want mm. and then I already know it. So I just watch one video and I wouldn't re refer back to it. Yeah. I practice and try and make it my way, the way it's my it's comfortable for me. Yeah. As long as the cake comes out the way it looks in the picture, then we're happy and, wow. and it tastes good. Wow. It has to taste Tastes good. good. The taste is very, very, very important. So hey, I remember one day I was on Facebook and I'm busy like minding my own business. And I was ah Crystal Eats partnered with Uber Eats. I'm like, yeah man, <laughs> this girl. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yo. How did that milestone come about in your life? So I a friend of mine, Charlene, big ups to her. I think she's probably on the live. Big so, up Shaleen. Big up Shaleen. She said I should add my business on Facebook, on Google, sorry. So I added my business on Google and immediately after adding it, I received an email from Uber. Really? Yes. So Uber Eats said they'd like to partner with a local restaurant and got their home. Yeah. And they they said they showed me the different packages that they're gonna send me a photographer and all of those things and am I interested so I thought about it and I was like oh, of course international delivery yes, company come on. Yeah. so and then then I took it mm. and that's how it started that's how my journey started with Uber Eats like so did it give simple. you something sort of like a contract that it will end here or you with them really I have complete now? control over everything so if I want to get off Uber Eats, I can get off Uber Eats. Mm. If I want to switch off the restaurant for a month or two, I can do that. Yeah. I've got complete control over everything. So which other partnerships do you have and with which brands? Okay, I was partnered with Gratitude. It's based in Gatlehong and Togoza. Mm -hmm. uh, but it ended soon because he had to start his own journey with his wife. And it's a restaurant as well locally. It's called Zani Eatery. It's okay. trending. Yeah. They serve beautiful food. So I was partnered with them as well, as well as Toli Gawulo. If you're from the East Rand, of course you know Toli Gawulo. That's the local delivery that we use. Yeah. So yeah, those are the two other people that I partnered with, as well as Lucky Star. So yeah. I was part I was part of the Lucky Star um, Lucky Chow Enterprise. Yeah. yeah, so we we're making the goda and I did shakshuka. Uh, so shakshuka is like, oh, it's a strew satin fish. Okay. And then okenya mai, and then you just garnish it. And yeah. Good to go. Yeah, you're good to go. So those are the, th the people that I partnered with. Uh, one day again, me, I was, because I'm always on social media. Mm, he's stalking me, guys. <laughs> I stalk you because <laughs> yeah. I love you and love your business oh, so much. So as I'm busy, scrolling down i see you you at the taxi rank and by the time mind you it was 8 a.m there i was waking up 
but you were already done selling and a big container like this was already empty at mm -hmm. 8 a.m which mm -hmm. shows that you woke up very early in the morning mm -hmm. how important is it for you to go out there and hustle for yourself and not rely on other people and put the success of your business in other people's hands yo it's more of a fear more than anything mm -hmm. um it's more of giving birth to a child and then you're not sure but you just yeah but you just but don't take a care of your baby because this is a precious thing guys people can just come and just ruin uh 10 years hard work mm. in a day yeah so it, it's it, it's very scary for me i took a leap of faith i recently just hired somebody and we're just kicking it i'm just trying i don't know how it's gonna go but i'm just crossing my fingers yeah. that everything goes well because it's it's very risky people People don't have the same vision and dreams that I had for Crystal Eats, mm. you know? So if I had started with somebody and I left my business with somebody, then that's that's another case. Yeah. So as long as uh, it's like that, I just need to just put my trust in the Lord and just hope for the best. Yeah. And mind you, when I was done selling at 8 o'clock, mm. I was late. Late for what? I was late for work. That so, bank. Yes. Wow. So usually Nikfeta Kabo seven who yes, I hope it's a good. Yeah. So let's go back to your slogan. The Radikang Shoya Kisaja Munono. I don't want to explain it or translate it because I think I'll mess it up. Can you please translate it translate it in English for us? <laughs> Just so everyone understands. My enemies um, can hate me, but haters can hate, but I'm still getting fat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I know you said it's spiritual. You yes. got it from your dream. Yes. What does it mean for you and your business and the growth of your business? It actually comes from a hymn, Kinali Mudisa. Mm. And it just means, okay, if I've got the spiritual side of things, nothing can stop me. Nothing or nobody can stop me from succeeding. Yeah. That's, that's beautiful and spiritual and very powerful. Yeah. So... You you bake cakes, birthday mm -hmm. cakes. Mm -hmm. You do platters, mm -hmm. and what else? It's food, nah, normal food. Yes, and I also do private chef uh, house calls. Yeah. I also do the online classes. Mm -hmm. I also do the home classes. So yeah, those are the things that I do. So what's the biggest event that you've ever catered for so far? It was catering or just selling, like booking a store. Oh, you can choose anything the biggest one for you the biggest one for me was why not wednesdays so there's an event by tadiso uh wooden shandies mm -hmm. locally so we were hosting an event yeah why not wednesdays like having a chillers on a wednesday listening to deep house music eating good food and served great drinks yeah so that was biggest because we were at hurricanes and if you're from the east you know that hurricanes is quite a big place it's Absolutely. quite a well-known place so sure. uh everybody's who's who has been there mm. even uh questa um Pumagim with Casper Nevis. It was shot there. It was shot there. Mm. So when I was there, I was like, oh, I'm walking on Legends Road, you yeah. know? Like, I was very happy about that. I was very excited about that, yeah. Let's go back to the school that you work for. Dugatole Lesson School. Dugatole Elson School. Elson School. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you're very smart Thank because you. you were able to, you know, incorporate. Uh, your your qualification of education in your business, yeah. right? How important is it for you to help the kids that are? You said that we don't say they're slow, yeah, but they need special awesome. attention. Special need kids. Yeah. yeah, and also you're not only just there to 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 teach like basic education, but yeah. you 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 do what food? You yeah. teach them how to bake. Yeah. How's that going along, and what does it mean for you? So, um. The kids there need to know how to do their everyday thing. I need to know my name and surname. I need to know my age. I need to know how to write alphabets and numbers. You know, some of them, most of them. So when it comes to giving them the skills to bake and cook, it helps them 
to open their own businesses yeah you know what i mean sure. so who knows maybe i can hire some of them after they get out of school because some of them leave school at the age of 21 and then they just have to work yeah. there's no metric there's no uh degree sure. so they just leave with that certificate the Alton certificate and then they just go look for jobs yeah yeah what's what's your your plans for crystal eats and where do you see your business going I'd, I'd love to have a lot of franchises. Mm, yes. Um, Crystal Eats may be born in Gatle Home, yeah. but it will not end there. Yeah. I, I believe I'm an international um, brand. Because when you go on my Instagram, I have mostly food bloggers from different countries. I've got food bloggers from Australia, Indian, people that are interested in my food. People that take screenshots of my food and probably uh, put on their stories and stuff like that. Yeah. So I, I feel like I'm an international client, an international company. Yeah. So Crystal Eats from here. Mm. Peshe. Peshe like an eagle. <laughs> yeah, literally. So you mm. have a lot of people behind you, I believe. You have people that you work with. You were on the phone before we started our interview, you know, talking with your... My assistant. Your assistant. Yes. And so, what message do you have for those people who are your champions, who are always there for you, and also your supporters, people who buy and support your business? What message do you have First for of all, I want to say, shout out to 1431. So, 1431 is a local pub in Gatiho. Um, I just recently I almost said postal code it is yeah um, I just recently partnered with them yeah. so I'm gonna be their resident restaurant yes. at their pub so um, shout out to them for giving me this opportunity they've been my clients since I started so one of the guys over there I go to church with him at Methodist Church and he introduced his brothers to my food I had no idea that they have a business yeah so they've been buying my food constantly like on a weekly basis and sometimes on a daily basis I don't know if they were testing me or what yeah but they just said I have I'm very consistent and I maintain quality Wow. so they'd love that for their pub so oh. definitely shout out to them um, also shout out to Muachi Wings uh, yes he, he Ah oh man, Dando is such a sweetheart. He he'd buy my cakes and he'd invite all the rich people in VIP. Yeah. They'd all make a circle and taste my cake. And Mwaki Wings is huge. Eh? Mwaki like, Wings is it's like huge. the in thing right now. Guys, I look up to Mwaki Wings more than anything. I just respect that man. Yeah. And as well as um who's this? I'll bite Gamu. I love him because he's the one that hooked me up with Lucky Star. Wow. Yes, he was my mentor and he's one of the people that I appreciate very highly of. Mm -hmm. And my fiance, guys, how can I forget that man? Oh, okay. He's the one that gives me money. <laughs> <laughs> guys, that man gives me money. I can just call him right now and say, baby, I don't have stock. Yeah. He'll say, how much do you need? I'll probably say, thank you or whatever. He'll say, okay. He's going to be angry. But he'll send it. And I've seen your relationship on social media, how you, you guys respect one another. It's yeah, beautiful. It's yeah. a beautiful relationship. Ah, it's very nice, man. Roman Juliet. Hey, I'm level of I also want to thank my family and my friends. Dike Thing, if you guys know her, DK Paris. She she has been promoting my business. I love her so much. I love Noma Kepu. I love Unati, I love Vuyogazi, I love all my friends and I love all my clients. Yeah. They constantly support me. And people from Katlehong, most of them haven't really supported me as much as I'd like. Most of the people that support me are people from different places. Different I've got clients from here in Centurion. Yeah. I've got clients from Soweto. I've got clients from Durban. Yeah. You know, people come from different places and they support me. So I just want to thank each and every person that's been supporting me. People from Foslora, Sprayed View. Kaslag. Like everywhere. Yes. Kialebu wa guys. If Halisong support you. It's like little jamu. No, no. You understand. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> once. All right, uh, please give us your social media handles quickly before you leave. Okay, um, my personal social media handles mm -hmm. it's Princess Away, so it's 
princess and then it's s-e-u-o-e -E with a y yeah. so my family is very big so i added a y so i can be special okay yeah it's my surname <laughs> and then on uh instagram it's at utwano sewe um for crystal eats it's at underscore oh at c-r-y-s underscore t-a-l e-a-t-s mm -hmm. yeah and then crystal all of them they're all like that and facebook as well it's crystal eats tiktok twitter yeah everywhere i'm there i'm following you everywhere but not on tiktok i have to follow you now. yeah so no but i always say google me because all my social media platforms are just gonna appear so just google crystal eats and then um <laughs> yeah yeah so just google crystal eats and you'll find me trust yeah. me you'll find me Thank you so much, Kutwano. Thank you so much for the opportunity, guys. Yeah. One thing I have to say, I applaud you. You started off by taking videos oh my and God. posting videos and making jokes and monologues and you're going far. Like Look I'm very, very, very proud of you. I'm Thanks very so proud much. of you. I see you on screen soon. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you, Galavua. But then the focus is on you. <laughs> I wish <laughs> you well. Of you away, yeah. like, I <laughs> I, this is my house. This is not Crystal. It's my bad, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> so I wish you well. Thank I, you. I just wish you strive and you just go to, you know, international. Thank Every, you. Everything that you desire. I just Thank wish you. that you, you get there. Thank you so much. I love so you much. so much. I, love I loved you, you from the first day I met you. I uh, love you too. I love, love you too. Thank you. There you have it. Thank you so, so much. Right now we know that uh, we understand that food is the only thing that brings people together and food is the foundation of happiness. Thank you so much for watching. I am Gabelo Khanye. Please do follow me on social media as well. I'm at Khanye underscore Gabelo underscore on Instagram and also follow us on our hit that subscribe button on YouTube. We are homegrown radio. A big shout out to my crew. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. You are behind homegrown business. We will be doing this again next time where we are going to be interviewing one of the best inter entrepreneurs again who are going to be telling us more about their journey into entrepreneurship. But for now, it's all love, light, and God bless you. And as you all know, don't, do not forget, don't sleep on yourself. Just keep your kingdom.